What's going on guys? Today I'll be painting my new ramp and loft. Alright guys, so it is finally time to paint the ramp and the loft. So I know when I built the ramp, I mentioned I was maybe gonna put another layer of uh, thinner plywood on top. But now after riding it for a month or two, I really don't think it's necessary. Uh, yeah, it would be a little bit smoother, but I really plan on only riding bike on this. If you were a skateboarder and had this ramp, I would say you'd definitely put another layer on top to make it smoother. But I'm happy with the way it is, and I just don't think it's worth putting a whole nother layer of plywood on top right now. And now let's see if I can get up onto the loft. By running oh geez got it and we're gonna be painting the loft at the same exact time I always planned on painting this because we just have this OSB sheathing as the floor and if you leave that you know it's just gonna break up it's not gonna end up being very nice and getting it all one color will look a lot cleaner as well so to keep it simple we're planning to do the loft and the ramp the same exact color and here are the colors we're gonna be using the cavern clay to paint everything and then secondarily, we might use this stoning tin, which is a very dark gray, to do some outlines on the ramp. And I was debating on what to do with the sides, but I think I settled on just doing it the same color. Uh, we'll do all the sides and probably, uh, you know, this side two by 12 as well. But then when we go to do the outline, we'll probably do like three or four inches the whole way down. So that'll still give you that nice crisp edge. So now I'll be doing some prep. I'll probably just sweep off the ramp and the loft really good, make sure it's clean. I'll be throwing down some drop cloths and then I can go out and buy the paint. I'm planning to use a heavy duty floor paint since we will be painting a floor and then the ramp, we obviously wanna do heavy duty as well. I think I'm gonna to try to do one coat, but we'll put it on pretty thick.
All right guys, so we got the painting all finished up. I'm really liking how it came out. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the uh, colors. It's a little bit lighter than I thought, but I'm okay with that. If I went with too dark of a gray, I think having this whole ramp and the loft that dark might just really bring down the brightness of the space. I also like how the outline came out. I went with, I think, five inches all the way around. And before we had the outline, it all just kind of blended together a lot. So it's really nice to have, not only for looks, but just so you know like where you're at on the ramp. Uh, so like for instance, this is where you take off. That's right on the uh, sharp corner. You can kind of see where that lines up. And then also I have the outline on the top deck here because before when it was all gray and you would go to drop in from here, uh, you would not be able to see that edge at all. So now when you're coming off the loft to drop into the quarter, you can easily see where you need to go. And I did decide to do an outline the whole way around the loft area as well. Uh, since I don't have a railing here yet, it's nice to have that so you can just visually see that when you're up here on a bike. And I also just really like the look of the outline the whole way around. And then again, when you're coming out of the quarter pipe onto the loft, it's nice to have that dark edge so you know like that's where you need to get past to land onto the loft. And I did end up painting my little kicker the same exact way because why not? I think it looks pretty cool. It matches the ramp now. Uh, one more thing I'll probably paint are these posts. I wanted to wait a little bit longer because those were pressure treated and you're supposed to wait like three or four months until you do uh, paint a pressure treated post. So I'm gonna give those just a little bit more time, but I think I might paint those the darker color, might contrast uh, the floor and the loft pretty well. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for today. Let me know what you think of the new paint. And also don't worry, I actually have a new Mustang video coming out as well that should be out in probably under a week. So some cool things for the Mustang. Also thinking about a new project car. So let me know what you'd like to see next on the channel and thanks for watching.